it's TMNT time! Hello and welcome to another video review. Today we're gonna to have a look at the Maestro Union Poor Eye Planet Wilderness Hunter Crocker figure. You might be looking at this and wondering, well, where's the TMNT part pain? Didn't you just scream TMNT? Well, it's not officially TMNT, but this figure kinda looks like Leatherhead. Big alligator with a hat and a jacket and like a bunch of chains and then guns and whatnot, big knife. Yeah. Tell me that's not Leatherhead. So that's obviously why I got this one. And I'm always down for unlicensed stuff. I feel like as long as it's good, I don't care who makes it. So let's have a look at this one. Now, before I even move on, uh, it should be noted that this is the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive version, which is a lot more colorful and a little bit more exaggerated than the regular one. Both, however, have the two forms. You have this more old school cartoon looking Letterhead version, and then you also have the more comic book or 2003 cartoon version Letterhead, where it has the chains and whatnot, but that's for the accessories. Everything like the jacket and whatnot can be taken off, also don't have the hat on right now, but once again, we'll get to all of it once I have a look at the uh, accessories. So, other than that, holy crap, you see big. I love the size of this guy. Stands at about 19 centimeters to the top of the hat. A little bit under that, but very, very close, which goes up to um, 7.5, 7.6 size comparisons. Here's Jolter, the SH Figure Art Son Goku, NECA Michelangelo, NECA Cartoon Letter Hat, Super 7 Michelangelo, Super 7 Letter Hat, and Dark Side. Overall look and detail, and here's the thing with some of these unlicensed products. And for the record, I went back and had a look at some of the other Furai Planet figures. None of them don't really seem like TMNT um, versions of something. So, maybe this one was completely by accident, but I don't know. Maybe that was just uh, to gain some attention. Unfortunately, they have like a they have like a wolf with like a jacket on. I wish they would have done like Old Top from the IDW comics with that. Anyway, enough about Furai Planet, let's have a look at this guy, and I'm still gonna continue to refer to him as Leatherhead, even though that's not really the name. Man, the detail on this figure is absolutely flabbergasting, and how cleanly the paint is applied. Look at the tiny, tiny eye there. The yellow does not bleed, it does not mold, uh, does not melt into anything else, but it looks clean, it looks beautiful. Also the teeth, you have like the flesh tone in the mouth and it looks a little bit bloody around his non-existent lips because it's an alligator but also the molded scaly detail throughout all of the figure is so so much more elevated due to a bunch of dry brushing all the scaly detail and the little blue highlights on the top again this is the more colorful version it really lights up a lot more and really gives the vibe of a old school cartoon character but uh, not as cartoony looking as far as the mold goes but still I don't have a trouble with that also for the jacket you have like a camo look in the front and you have dollar 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 bills in the back which is just funny I don't know how do you come up with that idea uh, cool stuff kudos to the guys over there and then you have the big arms have the two tone also you have like the brighter tone in the front Blue highlights in the um, the scaly detail in the front and also like in the back, where it looks a lot darker and you have like the uh, dirt dry brushing going on. It's a bit random if you want to critique at some point. You could say like, ah, oh, well, well, there's some blue parts over there, there's some blue parts over here. I don't really care about it. It, it just looks amazing as far just looking at the piece itself. It does have a presence. It's also really hefty. Like, this is not some cheap, hollowed out guy where everything is soft plastic. Everything is sturdy. Holds together fairly nicely. A little bit wobbly in the legs, maybe, but still. I've had way worse. It's, a, it's not even as wobbly as, like, in a Super 7 figure. Holds the pose. Looks great. Going down to the pants. Lots more very detailed molding and the dry brushing. The belt buckle also has some metallic on there. It looks dirty and the big alligator feet, claws, even have the detail under it with some more paint and it's just like, oh my god. And then you also have the tail, which has some more of the same goodness in there. 
And, you know, I usually don't talk about price points, but this is like 90 bucks. This is $90 for like this big, bulky hunk of alligator, which uh, it just, it kind of drives me nuts. I mean, insane. Like, moving on to the articulation. And you could see with the articulation where this figure falls apart. Not really, but it's pretty basic. So first and foremost, you can open the mouth. I already showed you that. You have like the big hinges in there. And I didn't really give you a good look at all the detail inside of it, but damn! Mm, looks so good. Then the hat is on a, a double ball, so you have like the uh, the dumbbell joint, which you can shift around, you can bring it up, and you can bring it in the socket a little bit to the back, so you can look straight. But overall, it's fairly limited. It does barely tilt side to side, but you can swivel it around almost all the way. Well, it does go all the way. And then you could have neck articulation, but once again, that's a part of the accessories, which I have a closer look later. You have actually different neck parts where it looks like both left and right. That was in the box like that, but I just want it straight now, right now. But that's pretty cool. That's like more extra plastic. Then you have a hinge in the shoulder, so you can bring that up and down. As you can tell, it doesn't go up all the way. You can also swivel it around. And you have a bicep swivel, a simple hinge in the elbow, which all, by the way, painted and looking super nice, even with all the shading over it. And it doesn't hasn't hasn't flaked off yet. And then we have another very small dumbbell joint in the hand, as you can tell. Not that great. Also can be swiveled in the chest area. Fairly wobbly. Does it tell side to sides? Again, barely. And you can bring it around. But I feel like it's going back, like it doesn't hold the pose. Same problem with the hips. Can pull it, but it kind of snaps into pose at some part, and at some other parts it wants to snap back. As you can tell, I move it forward and it just kind of snaps back. So I don't know what's up with that, but obviously this is also just on a swivel. Now for the legs, they do move forward a little bit in an angle because of how it's molded. It doesn't move out to the side as much, and does go to the back. Once again, just on ball packs, there's nothing fancy about that, but it works. Just a hinge in the knee. And for the foot, I thought there was a hinge under there, but I can't really move it down. So, you just have a rocker, a tiny rocker, but still, he does have the big feet and I feel like stability also helps with the tail, which is on a ball on the upper half, it moves up and down a little bit, moves side to side a tiny bit, and you can also swivel it around, and you have another segment over here which does a little less, and another segment down here which does even less, and then a final segment on the lower half, which uh, I guess at least moves side to side fairly well. And the accessories continue to impress me. First and foremost, you have the hat, which uh, is somewhat soft plastic, has some rope around it, and as you can tell, it has a magnet! Look at all these other scrub companies that have like uh, packs or like barely holding on. This thing has a magnet and it holds on like a charm, no problem with that. Absolutely love it, 1000% props. Work well with magnets, why do the people not do that? Then we have the entire different neck parts as I talked about. If you wanna have them look to the left or right, you can have that. Just swap the entire thing out, it's not really hard to do. We have a shotgun, which looks all kind of rusty and whatnot, so uh, more excellent dry brushing on there. But this piece, like, here's the point, Like this is like one to one, the shotgun it had that was on the original toy. Four letter hat. Same with the, uh, I think you also had like a big blade like that. More beautiful shading in the handle and also the blade itself. Looks kind of a little bit bloody, a little bit, uh, a little bit dirty. Then for the hands, that's where he don't really has that much. You have like these grabbing hands and, and these pointy fingers. And that's about it for the hands. Then we have the shackles with the chain on there. Real chain, by the way. For the price point, absolutely beautiful. As I was talking about, this is for his alt mode. And then you also have this back, which holds on to the shotgun, which you can wrap around. It's a little bit crumpled up, but uh, you know, just play around with that. Pull it through here, wrap it around his body, whatnot, so you can have that. And then finally, you have this little pouch to hold on to the big blade, which just packs into the back of his tail. Oh, and by the way, here's also a small instruction sheet, which I only found after the video, because you can tell you can take off the jacket just by pulling the arms back and then pulling them out. That's why I couldn't do it. 
Also, you can uh, attach the, uh, the shackles to the little bag over there, so there you go. And also, he does come with a freaking comic book. Let's actually have a look at it. Like, let's just go all the way. Not only let's do a uh, TM, kind of TMNT looking figure, let's also put it with a uh, comic book that looks like TMNT. Fury Planet Crocker. He says <gasps> a bad word in there. Fuck. Anyway. Yes, if the comic book can swear, I can swear. Is this even a comic book? Let's see. Okay, we have Memories. Good song by David Guetta. So there we have the other Free Ride Planet, like, um, I forgot his name. Which could be Old Hob, but I feel like it's a little bit removed. Oh, there's the Hippo. There's like the Hippo guy. They killed my brother! Uh, yeah, let's not go any further, but it looks like they're doing their own lore. So maybe this is all like to build this up, and I'm I'm kind of down. I'm down for it. So he also has like a <laughs> police officer, police officer leather hat. Okay, so there's more potential for figures, characters, and whatnot, even with their own law and their own comic book. So there is also the preview for the other, I uh, which also look very cool. So you know maybe 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 I'll go further with this. So far, it's looking pretty nice. Final thoughts! I fucking love this guy, I'm just gonna say it straight up! This thing is amazing, the size, the weight, the detail, the paint job, and the accessories. Also, I didn't really make a big comparison between like the NECA one and the Super 7 one, because I feel like that doesn't really count. It's a different thing, if you want to have another look at them side by side, there you go. This is a cartoon version. This is obviously a completely different mold and completely different paint. It's supposed to look like the cartoon, which it does. And then we're going back to the Super 7 one, which is also nice and scaly, fairly big, but supposed to look like the old school toy. It doesn't have any um, shading. And it's also fairly limited in articulation, which is if you're looking for bad things about this figure, the articulation is super duper standard there is nothing that really stands out about it but i do feel it does get the job done and that's really all that matters it's not quite as good as NECA articulation but i feel like it's already better as super 7 articulation so where does this one stand i this is my favorite letter hat but that's also because it looks realistic it's something we haven't had yet it's something that's made so freaking well as Especially with the paint shop and that's something I'm all about it. So even at 90 bucks I feel like this is highly recommended if you're a fan of TMNT, if you're a fan of Leather Hat Or if you just want a cool looking alligator, crocodile or whatever he's supposed to be uh, I guess it's called Croc Hunter. So it's a crocodile who hunts himself. I don't know But shout out to this figure and uh, I love it. Recommend it. That's gonna do it guys as usual. Thank you very much for watching don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for my favorite reviews, card game stuff, and whatever the Croc Hunter wants. Actually, it's the Wilderness Hunter Crocker. I'm just calling that a hat. Wants.